Hey, welcome back. My name is Alex. I'm a freelance videographer and filmmaker in Las Vegas. I have done lots and lots of music videos. Recently, we've been just going through all of the BTS music videos. Not in order, but maybe I should. But regardless, yesterday we watched the On music video. Not the Kinetic Manifesto version, but like the actual like music video, like cinematic version. So today we're gonna look at the behind the scenes, the shooting sketch for that video. And hopefully it's pretty cool because it looked really, really pretty. So today we're gonna look at the behind the scenes for that with the shooting sketch. It looked really, really pretty. So hopefully, I don't know, we'd see some more pretty stuff. So I don't know, whatever. <sighs> It is beautiful, even though it's just like some hills and some grass, it is beautiful. Okay, 19 seconds in. But this video stands out and like I really like it because they're building sets. It's more of like set design than them building sets because in the videos that I've looked at before, they build like massive, massive sets. Here, they're really just all outside. Like all of this, except for that one scene, is outside. So most of what they're doing is just set design. Whether it's with all of these flags and the fog, or it's him running, or it's the boat. Which I will say, like I thought of Noah's Ark when I was watching it yesterday, but I didn't like, I thought that that's where the biblical reference kind of ended, but I'm not like a religious person, so like I can probably identify some sort of biblical references, but for their actual like meaning and interpretation, I, I don't have that. But I did see a comment that said that um, Noah's Ark, no one believed Noah that the flood was coming and then it came. And that is perfect for this video. No one, they, they were working so hard, no one believed that their success was going to come, and then it came. Now we're starting off the shoot. Oh, there was a dub. I didn't even see that when I watched it. So I can shoot his room full of bird cages. See, that makes so much more sense. I don't know why I didn't connect that. I did see the dove get released at the end. I did not make the connection to the bird cages in the middle of the video. Just didn't make that connection. And then I did not see the dove at the beginning. Because when you look at the dove, you see like death. And then at the end, you see it come back to life. Huh. It's kind of like uh, when you think your life is over, it's not. Life would be so relaxed here and peaceful. I agree. It looks very peaceful. Okay, he's stretching. <laughs> oh my god. First off, look at that. That's beautiful. Was this this has to be like one of their more recent ones, like from last year, right? Because this behind the scenes video came out last year. Look at that, beautiful. <laughs> I'm talking about the rig, the, the camera rigging system is just ah. So it's a gimbal and then it's on like this shock absorber. That's that disc in the center. So the gimbal is like stabilizing the camera. You can move it around. It's on this big crane so they can go in and out. And then it has that extra like shock absorption to get rid of all the little micro bumps. Oh, and that's so pretty. It's crazy what you can do with just like, just outside, you know? And special power. Posada and said he's the devil. Lock me up. Cast me out of the wall. Huh. Ah. He's shunned from the village, but everyone's carrying me. Ooh. <laughs> some of the sacrifices that you just have to take sometimes. It's being freezing cold in a lake. But it was worth it because it looks so good. And like, what, what can you do? Like, they can't heat up the lake before he goes in there. Look how good it looks. Just like the, 
The random smoke in the atmosphere. Mm. Even outside. Even outside. See that smoke off to the right? It makes everything look so good. Like you hear me say this just about every single video, but it's like that little detail that's the difference between like someone new and someone like that knows what they're doing. <laughs> Hmm. He's acting by lying on his back. <laughs> I didn't. I don't think I even noticed him there, actually. Oh, look at that! <laughs> that must be a tree. This uh, green dot. So it's a, it's a C stand. That pole is called a C stand, and they have this green marker. So that's probably where they have the trees. So they have the green marker so that they can key it out later, but they also have it there as like a tracking point because they're moving the camera around and the trees themselves, they need to be like locked into the environment, if that makes sense. So if you move the camera around, you need like a little dot or something to make sure that when you move it, it tracks it and then you add in your 3D element on top of that. And at the end, it looks like it's supposed to be there naturally. Because if you don't have one of these little dots, it's gonna be very hard. Like, what what do you track? The grass? But that, that those are what the trees actually look like. Oh, look, there's another one in the background. And another one. I think that they had them there just for the tracking because they're just tennis balls. And the entire grass is green. So any kind of like keying or anything wouldn't make any sense. So they just, purely have them there for the tracking. But it looks so pretty. Shooting with 30 kids. <laughs> Rare experience. Looks so scruffy. <laughs> True, but this is the role. They're in LA. So the fact that they are in America in general is really interesting because I read a comment that their interpretation of this, um, one, I got some of the dates wrong and like the discography, the whole timeline, but I'm gonna blame like the breakdown that I read because again, I don't really know too much about it. That was just part of the breakdown that I read. So I figured I could like weave it in there. At the end, they go on top of like Pride Rock. Oh, also one, they go on top of Pride Rock. So that's like everything that they see is theirs. Like they, they can conquer everything, but now that I know that this was when they were starting to come into like the Western world and they were starting to like become really popular in America. So at the end of the video, there's that big wall and the gate and like that is them physically transitioning into America and like physically like going to go and conquer America or take over is probably a better word than conquer. So the fact that they are filming it in America really just like adds that extra layer. Cause I can guarantee that they, they could film this anywhere and it'd probably look very similar if not the same. Today's the third day. Oh, he's shooting with his sister. Ready? Let's see if we can look at some of the stuff in the background. It's interesting that this is on their third day. Maybe the, the stuff from the beginning of the video was also on the third day because I see the boat in the background and like it would just make sense for them to go over and film the boat stuff and then to film his stuff right by it. But they also had animals, so maybe that was like a whole scheduling thing. But I wanna try to look at some of the gear. Oh, that's just for the boat, like the crane and stuff. Less interesting than I thought. <laughs> it's just a crane. Ready? Yeah. Okay. It's a temporary tattoo. Of thorns. 
Huh. When I see the army having theories about our music videos, a lot of them are beyond our imagination. He's looking forward to many theories, specifically what that means. Their videos are so in-depth, so meticulous. All of these like references to like mythology and biblical references and all of the cultural references and how this connects with this and this connects with that. The fact that they even have their own like universe, the BU universe. And then he says that our theories are beyond their imagination. I feel like that's slightly hard to believe. They put so much thought into their videos that, I, th that our interpretation of their videos are beyond them. I don't believe it. It's like, bring it on. Oh, camera? Camera? <laughs> no, I can't see it. I'm sure it's either a red or an airy. I've seen them use red before, so they're probably using a red. Um, you guys said that they buy all of their gear. They have their own production company. So if they've used a red in previous videos, then they're probably using a red here. And that would make sense. So not to get too in depth, but there, there's two camera systems basically in like Hollywood and like the big productions. There's Airy and there's Red. Red has a higher resolution. So like in Marvel movies, they'll always use Red because of all of the CGI work. There's more data. And in this video specifically, they have the trees that they have to track. Maybe the wall, haven't gone there yet. Don't know if it's real. Mm, that might be it as far as elements that they have to add in afterwards. I can't remember. Regardless, the trees, okay? So it's gonna make the, the whole process, the whole post-production a lot easier with a lot more data and it's gonna make the final product look a lot better. So it would make sense if they are using red. Bring the pain. 이번 뮤비는 저도 잘 모르겠어요. 어, 물론 콘티와 이런 모든 것들 He doesn't know what the video is about. 저도 여러분들과 비슷하게 기대가 많이 되는 부분이 있는 것 같아요. That's crazy. I wonder how in depth they are or how involved they are in the making of the videos. 내일 같이 촬영이 있으니까 내일 준비해서 오도록 하겠습니다. 안녕. 내일 봐요. Hmm. Yeah, 마지막 날 진행. Oh, so they weren't all there on the same day. That's interesting. 이런 느낌이냐? 미니멀 캐니어. Of shooting at the mini canyon in LA. Hmm. Okay, so I wonder if there is actually a wall or not. <laughs> Shooting the dance break. Look at how good it looks. There's so many things that go into here. Like they may spend months just learning the choreography. And then there's the set design. Building whatever that thing is. <laughs> Placing all of this fire. There's the clothing. Like the, the set design, the costumes. Like, you ha they have to figure all of the costumes for what they're wearing, and then what the people behind them are wearing, and then what those people in the back and the robes are wearing, and then someone has to build it. There's like so much that goes on into just this one shot. And then after all of that, then it's how do they light it, and then how do they shoot it? You can have all of these elements. You can be on the set right now, but then if your lighting doesn't look good, then it's gonna look terrible. Or it can look amazing, but if, if the camera work isn't up to par, then it's not gonna look good either. One thing that they do very, very, very well is that they match the same energy with the camera movements as they do with their dancing. It's like, it's like the camera guy has his own choreography that goes on with the dancing. Red robes. Okay, let's do this. 
This took over a week in their first time shooting in the U.S. I wonder how involved each one of the members are in like coming out with the music videos or like the concepts or any of like the little details and stuff like that. But that music video was so pretty and relatively simple, especially for one of their music videos. It was very, very simple. Some of the times less is more and this might be one of those situations. That's about all I got. So don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what video you want me to react to next. And if you want to see my full reaction to this actual music video, go check out the last video. That's about it. All right. All right.